Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some slippers. Um, this is what it looks like when it's sewed together. You make it in just one simple piece. Um, I've actually struggled with making slippers in the past when I've crocheted them because they're so hard to keep uh, the same size because you need it to be the exact same size. Um, so it's a bit tricky with crocheting. I found that with knitting, it's a lot easier. And I honestly, I, I made these for somebody else, so they're a bit bigger, but I'm actually wearing my pair. <laughs> these are the ones that I'm wearing. Um, this is the typical size. My feet are a size five. All right, so what you'll need are size seven knitting needles. Yarn. Um, this is medium weight yarn. I uh, I use just a generic Craftsman yarn. Um, it came with 364 yards, so I divided it into four different balls, one for each slipper. Although you don't need that much for one slipper, but I just it was easier. Um, and the color I'm using is gray. You will also need scissors, a tapestry needle, two stitch markers, and a measuring tape. If you're making this for yourself, it should be easy because all you have to do is just measure it up to your foot and then make the other one the exact same size as the first one. Um, because I made this for somebody else, I measured from their heel to their toe and the, the part that counts for that measurement that you want to make sure it matches is before the decreasing round up on the toe all the way back to here. And it is, so that's perfect. Um, as far as the width, it's a pretty standard size. Um, plus there is some kind of, some give, you don't want it to be too stretchy. If you have, a very wide foot I would suggest adding um, a few more stitches in the middle but it's, it's a pretty uniform size the pattern that I use is a free pattern that you can download from Joann's I will put the link to that in the description box below if you want to print that out and follow along as well and this is fairly simple I would say a beginner knitter can do this. It is very easy. The only techniques you would need to know are uh, the cast on, knitting stitch, purl stitch, and how to cast off. Everything else, um, there is an increase, but I will cover that in the video. And there's also a decrease that you do up here, and then sewing it together, which I will also show. So let's get started. All right, first off, we're gonna start off with a slip knot, and then we are going to cast on 29 stitches. Count your stitches to make sure you have exactly 29 stitches. You need to be exact, otherwise the sizes will be off. All right, now that you have the right amount of stitches, you can start knitting. And the pattern is knit nine, place marker, purl one, knit nine, place marker, and then purl one, knit nine.
right to the first stitch marker. Now we're going to increase by putting the needle behind the stitch instead of in front of the stitch and then pull through, knit the next eight stitches. bottom of your toes. which is a knit one, purl one pattern, and repeat this pattern until the end of the row. until the piece reaches the length that you need for your foot. Now that it's the length that you need it to be, it's time to decrease, knit one, and then knit two stitches together and keep doing this to the end of the row.
this row, you just knit two stitches together for the whole row.
that's how you make slippers. It's as simple as that. If you want, you can also add a pom-pom. I don't really like pom-poms and I'm not very good at making them, so I won't show you. Um, but yeah, these are great. I wear mine all the time. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this helped you and I'll see you next time. Bye!